I won't stop till I hear him say However, in the medium to long term, we believe all assets will be tokenized onto the blockchain of some design. Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. In today's video breakdown, I have some very bullish information for you all today. Shout out to our CyberX research team. Again, Robert, I cannot stress enough how grateful I am that you provide these documents for us. Massive amounts of information that I have to display for you all today, talking about the bullish potential for the tokenization of real assets and private equity markets. All right. So we're going to dive into this specific PDF today from State Street. I'm going to show you guys some very interesting information. We're going to be also talking about Hedera Hashgraph specifically because of their focus on the tokenization of real assets. I am extremely bullish on HBAR. If you guys do not follow me on Twitter real fast before we jump into this PDF and some of the fundamentals that I have to share with you all today, again, make sure that you follow us on Twitter. The link for that is in the description of our YouTube videos. You guys can see that on December 30th at the exact bottom of HBAR, I tweeted out to you all, 50,000 HBAR costs less than 2,000 United States dollars as of right now, not financial advice. And I said, come back to this tweet in 2024, 2026. However, Okay, just after I tweeted that out to you all, again, not financial advice. Had anybody listened to this tweet and put $2,000 into HBAR, your $2,000 as of January 22nd, 2023, would have been worth 4380 United States dollars. Again, the link for our Twitter is in the description down below where we give out price action analysis. It's not financial advice. It is just what we are currently doing in the markets here at CyberX. So back over to the interesting PDF that I have for you all today, all right? This is a State Street Global Digital Digest, Building Trust and Security into Digital Architectures in 2023 PDF. Very interesting information I have for you all today, talking about the future potential tokenization of assets, giving you all a bullish perspective heading into 2023 and beyond. So pay close attention because this is massive information. And again, a lot of the information pulled on this PDF was actually taken during and right after the FTX debacle. So I want you all to take into consideration that the majority of the institutions that were uh, interviewed on this specific PDF, it actually took place during the aftermath of the FTX debacle. So keep that in mind, because if you all remember, the mainstream media was trying and attempting to shake out retail investors and make this FTX collapse, again, which in my personal opinion, this is not a fact yet, but in my personal opinion, was an, was implanted into the system on purpose, okay? And, you know, you could go down the rabbit hole on that if you want, or if you please take it upon yourself to do your own research on that. But based off the research that I've done, the whole FTX scam was there on purpose to create discounts for the major elite individuals that are participating in this market space okay um so that that maybe is for a later video it says in the midst of the latest crypto market bombshell specifically talking about the ftx debacle it says state street fielded our second annual digital finance survey of some 300 institutional investors okay so from october 21st to november 21st that is when this digital finance survey was conducted given that ftx officially filed for bankruptcy on november 11th this means that while our benchmark study is concerned with far more than just crypto, survey participants were responding in real time against the backdrop of this defining event. So keep that in mind as I read you all this information. How much did the FTX disaster impact our results? A top line theme that emerged from the survey is one of a short term caution paired with long term optimism. Think of that. Right there, it says long term optimism, which is something that we've been preaching about on this YouTube channel for quite some time. Understand that we are in the early stages of this mass adoption of blockchain and cryptocurrency technology with more than two thirds, 69 percent of participants expecting to significantly or slightly increase their allocation to digital finance space in the next two to five years. And the majority, 60 percent, expecting it will take five years or longer before digital tradition becomes mainstream. So think of that. 69% of these 300 financial institutions are looking to allocate more money into the digital finance space in the next two to five years. And then 
60%, but the majority of them are expecting it will take five years or longer. Now, again, that's not to FUD anybody out. Excuse me. That's not to FUD anybody out. It's just more so to give you all a more realistic long-term perspective and that this adoption of blockchain technology is going to take time. Yes, it's going to happen. We're going to have boom and bust cycles. We're going to have bull runs and bear markets but have a long-term vision. Again, what it is that we do here at CyberX is that we diversify our portfolios. We have a portfolio for intraday trading. That means that we're taking profits on the form of buy and sell positions. And then we also have a long-term bag. And in that long-term bag, we have it split into two divisions. We have a long-term bag in the form of short-term profit-taking. And then we have a bag for long-term holdings that are going to be held for like five to 10 plus years. All right. Again, not financial advice. That's just how we are diversifying our crypto portfolio here at CyberX. All right. So to further read this document. Now, this is where it gets interesting because it specifically talks about real assets. So it says another important theme to emerge was the growing interest in digital technology as a means to hold and trade mainstream asset classes beyond cryptocurrencies. Our results show that 36% of respondents say that the centralized tokens based on traditional assets are the digital holdings they most want for their portfolios, more than any other digital asset type, including crypto. In particular, around half think the ability to fractionalize illiquid assets like private equity and real assets is the major prize of digitization. So why are we specifically going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph in this video breakdown? or why it is that I'm mentioning to you all HBAR is because HBAR is a blockchain platform that aims to provide a high performance and secure infrastructure for decentralized applications. The platform Hedera Hashgraph uses unique consensus mechanisms called Hashgraph that allows for fast and efficient transactions. You guys need to do research on HBAR if you have not done it so far. Now, specifically talking about how it says literally right here, fractionalized liquid assets like private equity and real assets is going to be the major prize of digitalization. Now down here, this is specifically where we're going to get into the numbers again, giving you guys a long-term realistic perspective. It says the number of investors increasing the digital asset exposure in 2022 was significantly lower than those who had planned to do so in 2021. A quarter of respondents said that they would increase their digital asset allocations in 2023. However, Long-term investment plans were more positive for digital assets, with 69% planning to increase holdings over the next two to five years and only 26% anticipating either a decrease or no change at all in this period. And it specifically talks about down here via a chart, right? Will significantly increase, will increase significantly, right? You guys can see over the next two to five years, that blue line is all the way up to about 30 to 36 to 39%, all right? And then over the next 12 months is in blue, will increase slightly, roughly about 15 to 16% of institutional investors. Okay. And you guys can see right here, roughly about 9% of institutional investors will increase significantly. So again, giving you guys that long-term perspective, I've been saying multiple times that during the next bull run, I truly believe, again, this is not financial advice. There are going to be people out there that do not know how to diversify properly and they sell early. Now, what it is that I mean by that is at the beginning of this call, I said to you all that in our long-term portfolio, we have it split into halves. That means that we are going to look to take profit on some of our altcoins during the next bull run, but then we also have holdings that we're not going to touch for another five to 10 years to give it time to grow. Again, not financial advice. That's what we're doing here at CyberX is we're diversifying our portfolios in the form of our long-term holdings. And then we also have a day trading cryptocurrency portfolio, right? So moving on, all right, if we come down here to page 20, it says right here, the winning use cases for the application of distributed ledger technologies are still emerging, but generally industry expects efficiency gains. Respondents saw a variety of ways for digital assets and their underlying technology to work for the benefit of their organizations with the third or more citing distribution, asset issuance, asset servicing, and smart contract generation among the most important services they would like provided in the digital finance environment. But improved operational efficiency and reduced operational costs were a common theme in ways that they expected areas to improve for their businesses. We see the principal advantages being efficiency gains, new forms of liquidity, and new distribution opportunities. They also highlighted in terms of timeline, it's closer than most people think, but there are still a few key pieces of the puzzle missing before we believe that this will be commonplace. Our sense is that we will first see adoption in more liquid assets and niche small markets where tokenization will have a meaningful efficiency gain. 
However, there are great deals for uncertainty still with respect to regulation, data and technology standards, and client appetite level of investment and collaboration required to achieve this. However, in the medium to long term, we believe all assets will be tokenized onto the blockchain of some design. That is a massive statement right there. If you enjoy deep dives like this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Again, giving you guys the long-term perspective, reading you all these documents. Hopefully you're not getting footed out in the form of retail manipulation that's out there amongst the commonplace, okay? With that being said, all right, like I said to you all, Hedera Hashgraph. So if we come over here, this is a very interesting document, all right? And it talks about how the tokenization of real world assets is in the early stages, but the potential benefits are large, including efficiency gains driven by automation and disintermediation, transparency and improved liquidity potential. The tokenization of real world assets is poised to become the next big thing in the financial markets because it provides the following benefits. And it talks about the following benefits, fractional ownership, faster and cheaper transactions, transparency, potential liquidity, convenience. I want you all to really understand real assets include real estate, commodities, infrastructures like roads, bridges, ports, airports, natural resources, collectibles, equipment, like it's literally everything, okay? Gold, silver, precious metals, gems, jewels, collectibles, wine, music, okay? It's literally everything. And you guys see in this document right here, okay, if you're still here, it says right here, in the medium to long term, we believe, this is again from State Street Global, okay? We believe that all assets will be tokenized. That is trillions of dollars. We've been telling you all for quite some time to have a long-term perspective. I even tweeted out to you all that by 2025, 2027, we will most likely see a 30 trillion, 50 trillion, 70 trillion and above market capitalization for this cryptocurrency market space. And this isn't even, this has nothing to do with the banking system or the banking sector. This is specifically just the tokenization of real assets. All right. So with that being said, I will leave you all with this document right here. And this is an overview of tokenization on Hedera Hashgraph, specifically where it talks about the tokenization of the process of converting real assets and ownership rights into digital assets. And it talks about how tokenization of real assets has the potential for underlying a mega shift across how multiple trillion dollar markets operate. Again, this is the tokenization white paper on Hedera Hashgraph. Go ahead, click read through it. I will link it in the description down below. This is why I'm mega bullish on HBAR over the long term. This is also one of the reasons why I tweeted out to you all that I'm investing in HBAR on December 30th, 2022. You guys have seen the appreciation on the price action of HBAR since I tweeted that out to you guys. Always giving you guys the realest price action information and predictions here at CyberX, trying and attempting to give you guys a future visual perspective on what to expect in the form of asset tokenization in the future ladies and gentlemen this is a massive statement go ahead and smash that thumbs up button share this video breakdown with other hbar holders if you guys did like this video breakdown sharing you guys this information from again our cyperx pdf research team make sure that you are subscribed to the youtube channel as always make sure that you're doing your own research be cognizant be aware and i'll see you guys next time i won't stop till i hear him say oh, oh.